What's up guys, here in my garage. Just finished buying all these cards. But you know what I like more than cards and material things? Knowledge. All right guys, we are back again with a brand new video. This is actually one of our most requested videos, believe it or not, it is our deck collection. A little disclaimer though, if you are a female and happen to know me in real life, what I'm gonna need you to do is X out of this video right away. Three, three, three two, 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 one. one. Got a blast. Okay, thank you. Now all the people who actually know me are gone. This is our deck collection. But first, we want to thank you guys for helping us reach 10,000 subscribers. That is absolutely mind-blowing. To thank you, we're gonna give away three brand new decks of cards right here. We got the Jack Sellers, we got the Madison Mark Players, and the Dan and Dave V6 Smoke and Mirrors Red Edition. So, all you have to do to enter this giveaway is be subscribed to us, like this video, and leave a comment. Doesn't matter what the comment is, you can comment literally anything and you will be entered in. But we're gonna do just a little twist this time. You can comment and that's all you need to do to enter. But if you wanna gain an extra entry, just like our Facebook page. Our Facebook page will be listed as the first link in the description. So if you like our Facebook page, you will get two entries for the random selection, increasing your odds by two. So if you do that, just put in your comment. I also like your Facebook page. That gets you an extra entry for when we randomly select. And yes, you could just type you liked our Facebook page and not actually do it. But if you happen to win, we'll check and see if you liked it. So just tell the truth. We trust you guys. We'll figure it out. But we want to give away these expensive decks of cards to show our gratitude towards you guys for helping us reach such a large milestone. But let's get into the cards that we have collected over the years performing Magic and Cardistry. All right, so we're gonna start off this deck collection with one of my favorite decks of cards. When I first got into this, it was definitely Dan and Dave playing cards. One of the very first ones that I've ever ordered, this original Smoke. I also did have a mirror, but I have no idea where that went. As you can tell, these guys have been through a lot. A little worn, but they still fan and handle me well, it's just a testament to how well these cards handle and hold up. Other than this original smoke, we do have one of the original eco editions or green, I forget what they did. This one's been through quite a bit too. This is one of my practice decks eight years ago. We have a newer reprint of the eco editions, a couple denims, because why not? Another smoke, no, in here, or is this the mirror? Oh, there it is. Yeah, the box fell apart, so I used some like crappy Chinese playing card box and like repurposed it. I didn't even know you did that. You're welcome. But yeah, the mirrors, looking fantastic as ever. Not holding up the best on the edges, but the finish and the handling, still top notch. Anyway, on to the reds. Now, when a certain part of my life came through when we actually got these red cards. I got my first job at Chick-fil-A and then uh, went on to perform for them and start making some money. So by the time these came out, I actually had a little bit of dough in my pocket. So I went and bought a couple bricks of them. This one hasn't even been opened yet. The brick's still sealed. I had another brick or so. I think it was just two bricks, a few of them still unopened and a bunch that I've used over the years. Fantastic deck of cards. Next on the list, going to be the Jack Sellers. These ones I love just because the argyle pattern and the foil on the box. It's just a really nice touch. Got a few of the red ones, the original uh, blues. The actual cards have a greenish hue. It's like a, it's like a greenish blue. Aqua greenish type John. Yeah. Really nice artwork all over the decks. I'll open up one of the red ones since we're giving them away so you guys can see how they look. We have open ones. Yeah, somewhere. There we are. It's got a really nice metallic red finish. 
over the cards and really nice pit design and suits a great looking deck of cards really elegant and classy all right doing this really makes me hate myself but uh they're all grant so i gotta blame him right here we have i think four of the ss15 verts now some of them are very, very worn like this. The box is falling apart and you can see how old those cards are. And I think these are the exact cards that I learned how to one hand shuffle on because they pharaoh so well. And they have like no spring left in them because that's what I learned on. All right, so that's the Verts. We have a few sealed packs that we plan on giving away way in the future. Here are the brand now, new- I will say a quick caveat about the Verts. They did like offer a discount for doing them in bundles. I think there's a bundle four for those, which is why I got them. Oh yeah, didn't they do a thing where it was like free shipping or something like that? Yeah. I mean a free deck if you just pay for shipping. Yeah, they did. All right, but then the originals. we have the Car Free Touch decks, which uh, Dimitri sent us to do a review on. I don't know if you've seen our deck review, but I'll link that in the description if you want to see it. Here we have Monarchs, the absolutely iconic deck from the Now You See Me movies. We have a brand new sealed pack of gold Monarchs, three white Monarchs, and then we have first edition Monarchs, which are the ones with the circular seal and then the newer Monarchs with uh, thinner borders, and red Monarchs, which were actually in Night Me 2, which look fantastic. This is the Madison Players deck, which uh, we're giving away, and this is a very beautiful and um, minimal marked deck that Daniel Madison came out with. Got Justin Flum to sign this one because it was white, and it seemed like a nice blank canvas for signing a deck, but uh, that's how they look like, and believe it or not, they're marked. Nice swing cut. Um, Grant, way back in the day, bought an entire brick of David Blaine split, split, split spades. Fantastic deck of cards. Yeah, all of them. they've got really cool design, and these I, I believe are metallic all over the place. Yeah. Madison Rounders look like uh, look like that. Very simplistic. Mm -hmm. David Blaine Gatorbacks. Great cards. I got them few years ago. Very simplistic. And here's the original Split Spades. This actually is, I think, one of the first or second deck that I ever bought. Take a quick look here. Someone uh, scribbled out because there was an NSFW lady on the front. SMH. But these cards, as you can tell, they have been through better days. These are nearing nine or so years old. One of my favorite deck of the cards I ever had. I used this thing for like probably two and a half years straight, the same deck of cards, before I got anything else. Absolutely okay. loved it. Fantastic deck, but always with my heart. Look at all that damage on the side. All right, so moving on, over here we have decks that we have, um, companies that sent us to sponsor from on Instagram, because we've had Instagram so much longer than YouTube. Uh, you know, the Karshi Touch deck, V2, Cherry Casinos, a little darker colored. Uh, I don't know how to pronounce this. Les Mills or Les Mills. Les Mills. These are like, believe it or not, these are marked too. I don't know if I remember where it was though. And then the guy sent us a PDF on it. Yeah, and I shoot. It's a good marking system. Oh, four of clubs. Got it. I'll do one more just so they know. Oh shoot, where was it again? Four of spades? Hey! There we go. All right. Still got it. We only have two of those decks. We like to keep them sealed as a, a memory. Now these are the... Uh, the Mondrians? Yeah, throwback to that designer. I don't know, Grant really likes them. Since I took some uh, art classes in the school, learned all, wrote actually a paper on Mondrian, so I'm a big fan of these. I love the design. Here are the casual cards by Paul Robia, I don't know how to say your last name, but Art of Place sold these. We've used them in a ton of tutorials. They look fresh. We have the NOC playing cards, which are uh, one of my favorite decks to practice with because these are like a mix between squids and cards. They are like split packets. Like they clump so well, which also makes fans look like that, but they clump really well which makes them good for practice. All right, you want to talk about yeah. your first deck of cards? There we are. Now, I think I've said I, my first deck of cards three times. I think that's the first one I bought. 
the other ones were uh, older. They belong to my friends. But these, these Arco Streamline playing cards. Found them at my grandparents' house when I first started getting into cardistry, magic, whatever you want. And learn first learned the spring with these. They are have absolutely no resistance left in them. So the spring them with absolutely no hand strength. Those are probably over 20 years old. More than that, they're probably like 30. I wonder if there's a date on it. No idea. But yeah, got the classic Joker. Fantastic Arco cards. Just to say you can learn with any deck you want. It doesn't have to be anything fancy. It has a resilient linen finish. It's resilient. It's but all about perseverance. Very first card, deck of cards I ever used. They honestly will fold in half without even trying. But get near and dear to my heart, you don't need anything fancy to learn. These are just a whole bunch of random decks that I've picked up over the years. Just because I'm a visual person, I like good design. I like um, different types of decks. But we have the Artifice. Yeah, those are the Artifice. From Illusionists, got them in. Most of the color variants, even this, the red, which I opened up. Not sure why I did that. Got the blue and the purple. And we got um, a couple gaff decks over here. The Arcane, which when they first came out, I really loved. But uh, still pretty good looking design, but it's not as modern as some other decks would be. A little throwback to like the early 2000s. <laughs> and got the 311 Rebels. Those are some of my favorite cards yeah, ever. I love these cards. The design on the back is just so intricate. Small borders. You know what the design reminds you of? The greatest movie of all time, National Treasure. I'm gonna steal the Declaration of Independence. Very true. Fantastic movie. Nicholas I'm gonna steal the Declaration of Independence. Nicholas Cage is a National Treasure. Nice. The Infinity deck. I honestly haven't used this much. I think I got it when Illusions was still doing like a Six pack, star six pack starter pack where you can choose six of the decks of cards and get a deck for free. Don't know if they're still doing that. I haven't been on their site in a long, long time. Got the Ghosts, the limited deck, which is a very minimal deck. Pretty good looking. We used that in the uh, Invisible Palm tutorial. Yeah. Fathom deck, I honestly don't even remember how this looks. I think I got it as like a freebie with a purchase or something like that. Water themed. I don't know, it's a cool deck. Um, the Tally Ho Black Vipers, back when black decks were all the rage. Uh, not too much of a fan of them now, especially since they don't have. I think the circle backs have red pips, but these ones don't. This is the fan back variant. These are the circle backs. Let's take a quick look. Yeah, they do have the red, but these ones are very old as well. One of the older decks that I've had. Um, you got the sleepers, which are a very minimal deck. I enjoy using them. I love the pip design on those. Oh, the pip design. Let's see if we have an open one. Do we have an open one? Yeah, we do. Okay. The pip design is very minimal, very different, very unique. So, I'm a big fan of these cards. Corp Design did a good job. We got the. Shadow Masters, back when they yeah, had to be edgy and emo back in the day. Very true. The Black Tigers. They're a very unique looking deck of cards. Some of them will glow in the dark with like a UV light or black light, that's it. But neat looking deck of cards. Not something we really ever use nowadays because I don't think the design is H2L in the minimalist era. But yeah, we got some more Rebels, Dan and Dave Ace Fultons. Um, very clean deck of cards based on a, fiction, a fictional casino. The Bicycle Heritage series, which is basically just a series that 311 did on older bicycle backs. You can see them all here. Very nice. And we got one of my favorites. I've said that about 10 decks so far but the Bicycle Guardians by Theory 11. I'm not sure if these are still in print, but a very cool looking ace, ace uh, spades with the two wings. Had a bunch of these, I would use them a bunch to practice, and 
I very much like the look of them. They're pretty intricate, I'm doing well. Do I take over for a couple seconds, Chair? All right. Or before you do, I will say this is the only one that you might not know about. It's a deck that a friend of mine brought from England. Shout out to um, Taylor. Yeah, and not too much to say about it, but yeah, it's from England, which is pretty cool. It's lit. Alrighty. You know, I have a problem. I like, people say lit, and I started saying lit ironically to make fun of people who say lit, and now I'm like actually saying lit, like normally, but I usually, I'm depressed. Okay, um, Bicycle Eco Edition, the green bicycle car is lit. Crown deck. Stop saying lit. Here, you know, you're right. Can I say Liddy instead? Is that no. what kids say? Steven Malkowitz bought Grant this deck for his birthday. They riffle fan really well. Yeah, you even to risk Steven. doing that? Steven was one of my friends who I started learning with. He's oh, yeah, fantastic. they riffle fan really well. He'll be in a video eventually if you're watching this, Steven. Steven's a beast. So we got the crown deck, more random bicycle decks. Bam, 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 Couple bam. Just bought from Target just because they were shiny. English Laundry, I believe it's called, right, Grant? Yeah. Those Steven cards. also bought these for Grant. Yeah, and they kind of got like... Very unique looking deck of cards. Um, they didn't hold up all too well for me, but I think that was a fluke. Mechanic deck. Now, if I remember right, this is the one... One of my friends, Matt and Draco. When you riffle it, the gears turn. Yeah. Really Can cool you see deck. That? Probably the only deck of cards I've gotten from someone who isn't a magician or something that's actually usable. <laughs> we all know how it goes with people like, oh, you're, in, you're into deck of cards? I'm going to get you a deck of cards in. Nine times out of ten, they're not usable, but they're always cool decks. So if anyone ever has gotten me decks of cards, thank you. Two of my favorite decks here, right? Sultan Republics. They look, I call them the Hunger Games cards. I don't know. I can't just... remember if they're by Illusionist or 311. Is it I on think the box? Illusionist. Illusionist. Okay. I just like that design. It looks more like a 311 design, but... So yeah. You can see on the pips, there's like, um... These lines. Yeah. It looks really cool. I just really like the back design. Then we have the Fulton's Clip Joint. Now, I don't know why. I love the box. Yeah. The box is fresh. Cards. What makes them unique is you got one of the symbols on each card. Has that intricate design. Those are the Jokers. Really cool looking deck. Bicycle Steampunk, silver, gold. You have the Charity deck of cards by 311 for water. Now I think it was something like when you buy these, they, you know, help. A certain portion. Yeah. yeah, a certain portion goes to helping people who don't have clean drinking water. You have the Fulton's Chinatown. I used to have yeah. another one of those, but they went through the wash. They took an L. <laughs> Sealed Bicycle Archangels, you can get those at Barnes & Noble. Yeah, now, these here. are a few um, casino cut cards from Las Vegas. Um, so what's, what's interesting about these is, since they're from a casino, I don't know if any of you guys have seen this before, but to make sure that you can't bring in casino cards into the casino and use them to cheat, because we all know magicians are good at cheating at card games, they cut off the corners so that they're still usable for playing card games, but you can't replicate their design and you help it to use it. Use it to help you cheat. There's one last. So here we've got... It's a card clip. A card clip. A porper card clip. Nice. And then this is another card clip, but inside of here we do have uh, water damaged deck of the Ace Fultons. I don't think they're gonna be coming back into play anytime soon, but that's how they look since we didn't open them. Now on to our decks. Yeah. So these are the decks that we have performed with, which is why we have a lot of them. So before we started going tally hoes, we would just use a lot of bicycles. And so nothing see. special here, just nothing tons too special. and tons and tons. Tons of them. Probably some gaff decks in here. Uh, I know my, is the signature deck in here? The signature decks are back here. I mean Here's my original the, signature deck. That is oh, there original. we are. So this deck of cards right here is one, a deck of bicycles that I bought for everybody I would ever do card tricks for. So like most of the people in my grade at school, I'll do card tricks for them, have them sign a deck, 
uh, card. Everyone in here is signed by a different person. So I think it's cool to go back and see all different people. Oh, that's the one that was missed. One of you wants to sign it. Um, but yeah, it's a whole bunch of people who I knew back in the day who would sign this. And it's really cool to go through and see and remember all the tricks I'd done for people when I was learning. Um, someone told me that I'm a jerk. Yeah. How old is that deck? Probably like seven or eight years old? I did it when I was in 11th grade, so about six or seven, yeah. Wow. And yeah, so one of my favorite decks that we've done. We have a couple more types of this type of deal for uh, when we did our Philadelphia Reacts to Street Magic video. These are the two decks that we used that day, and they're full of signatures of people who we did tricks for yeah, all throughout the day. Alrighty. So I don't know if you've seen our YouTube video from Philadelphia X Street Magic, but this is the deck that we used the entire day. And because it was such a special deck for being our first YouTube video, we decided to retire it. So, is that the one that has more? Yeah, oh, there's a lot. Wow. There they all are. Lots of times we just let people keep the cards, but if we forget, you know, keep them through. That just shows how many times we did that trick that day. Yeah. And we have a bunch more in this deck as well. I think that was your deck though, so that one doesn't have the signatures on it. It's just the deck from that it deck. It might have been. It's a memento. But yeah. These Good are the two decks we used that day. And we're going to do that for every single Street Magic video we do. To always add to the collection. But at this point we had upgraded to Tally Hose. Yeah, so when Grant did Magic on his own, which was for a while before I started doing it with him when we formed Rise, we were using bicycle. He was using bicycles, and uh, I kind of got into the whole tally ho thing. And we've bought bricks and bricks, as you can see. Um, kind of made it our signature deck in a way, because um, it looks classic like a bicycle card, but it's just a little bit different. So I think it's important to state when you see all these cards. Obviously, hundreds of dollars worth of stuff, but we have been performing professionally for gigs and getting paid for years now, and done dozens and dozens of gigs where we're getting paid. So. A $2 deck is an investment. It's like using uh, basketball shoes, I don't know, or something like that. Like you're gonna, you're gonna wear through these decks. Um, like some of these, some of these decks barely have any left in them for sort of how many times we've done torn and restored tricks or angle zero or signature tricks where we hand out the deck. Just decks upon decks. We've got lots of sealed ones for future gigs. Um, usually we use red over blue, but we have a lot of blue decks too. Here's just random assorted decks. They, like, These are more like gift decks. Yeah, people give you gifts. Dallas, Dallas Cowboys. Cowboys. Go Cowboys. Uh, Waterproof Disney, Disney playing cards. Gold playing cards. Clickbait those. Um, and then we've got tons and tons of ad cards and jokers. Some Cozumel, Florida. Oh no, Anna Marie Island, Florida. Ireland playing cards. Oop, here's another, another casino deck. Here's a deck of black tally hoes. And then What's left of a bicycle ghost deck? Lots of gimmick creations and stuff like that, you know. Tallyhoes. And we've got, you know, I use these to store gimmicks that we've made for Tallyho decks and things like that. Now, the last thing we wanted to showcase was something that Grant made for a graphic design class in oh, college. I forgot about this. So, this is a packaging project. Basically, what we had to do was take, a, take something that, uh, a few random objects and then we brought them into the class and he picked one for us to make packaging for. So I made this wood box, sanded it down, finished it, designed this little belly band to put around it. And so it's a little mechanism where you can fold it, bring it back, take it off. I have no idea what this barcode actually is for. I think I just searched barcode on, you, on uh, Google. So if you're at a store, scan that, see what comes up. But this little band is double-sided, so it looks pretty classy with the expert at the card table by S.W. Erdnays. Inside of here, we got a little bit of felt, a nice little display of the actual expert at the card table book, which was my um, item. Then below it, I put uh, just a nice clean minimal black deck of Madison rounders. Or these are Madison blanks, or whatever they want to call them, I forget. Nice clean deck to go along with it. This is falling apart a little bit. I made a little nice felt little place to 
pulled everything to come apart, but I think I got an A on the project, so. But I used that to store it and make everything look nice. It's a nice little addition. All right, so that concludes our deck collection. We've got the ones we professionally performed with, Tally Ho's bicycles, a bunch of assortment of random cards, and some of our personal favorites back here. Now, like we said before, since we hit 10,000 subscribers, we're going to give away some Jack Sellers, Madison Players, and Dan and Dave V6 Reds. All you have to do to enter is comment below, be subscribed to us, like the video, and if you want to gain entry, an extra entry, like us on Facebook. And I've been trying to